and today I am joined with Willow! Willow, say hi to everybody! <laughs> Are you shy? Of course you're shy. Well, this is my bearded dragon Willow. If you didn't know, I do have a, my own pet. She's a bearded dragon. Well, I think she's a she. I've been to PetSmart and everyone at PetSmart told me that she's probably a girl. Uh, I didn't get her at PetSmart, but when I go with her, people are saying she's a girl. So, I mean, I, I'm, I was kind of hoping for a girl because Willow's more of a girl name, you know? But if, she, if it turns out to be a boy, I won't be disappointed, really, because I still love her. She's like seven months old, around that, six, seven months old. I don't know exactly, but around that much. And I named her Willow, so she's a standard bearded dragon, and she's adorable. I am going to be um, just talking about bearded dragons and giving you a care guide and kind of the bare necessities and just all the care that bearded dragons are going to need and just pretty much how to take care of them, uh, tips and tricks, everything. So right now she likes being on my shoulder. So basically I'm going to start with probably the most important thing is their habitat. This is Willow's tank. Very decorated. She has a bunch of stuff to do all the time. Never bored in there. So, basically, the lighting is probably one of the most important parts. They need UVB and heat because they need something to represent the sun. Uh, like, a fake sun. Um, and basically, it's like super important for them. Um, I would not recommend getting any lighting from PetSmart like this. Because it's just so important and PetSmart doesn't have the best UVB. So I did get Willow and my light lighting from a reptile store. And um, this is UVB and heat. It's like a big lamp. And that one is from PetSmart but it came with a tank. So it's just like extra UVB. I'm not using it alone but it's just extra. It has this. So anyways... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm moving my hair. It's like getting in my face. Uh, anyways, so that is for lighting, but they also do need like a habitat, a tank. So this is my tank. Mm. They, uh, cause they do get pretty big. They get around, females get up to like 18 inches around, 16 to 18, and males get like between 18 to up to 24 even inches so they do need a pretty big cage uh this is a 40 gallon tank um that's like the oh, don't crawl down my legs oh my goodness she's a wild one anyways uh you do definitely need a 40 gallon one um because that's like the bare minimum cage they need like sizing you definitely can go up and it's recommended to but right now this is all that will fit in my room if I ever save it up enough because they are expensive um, I maybe will get her bigger cage who knows time will tell anyways that's kind of the main things for their habitat they need and they need a basking spot and like all their temp I have two temperature monitors like there's one cool side and one like hot side where it, her basking spot is and they can like go in between on what they want like the cooler side the warmer side is going to be like a hundred like in the hundred range like somewhere between 95 and 105 is kind of the best or even up to 110 is like really good um, and then this side is like in the 80 degree range, 80, 90 degrees, somewhere around that. So like they can like go in between like vary what temperature they want at the time. Um, so basically after you get their cage set up, you definitely are going to need food. Um, for food, um, when they're like not really, okay, babies I'll say. Like I was about to say puppies, but I'm like... Something's not right about that. They're not puppies. <laughs> um, but when they're like baby bearded dragons or like like little toddlers, um, they do need like 20% vegetables and 80% protein, which protein is live insects. If you're not okay or like scared of live insects, then 
Reptiles aren't really the best idea for you. Baby bearded dragons are going to eat a lot more insects. Don't worry, they when they are, when they're older they kind of flop, so it's like 20% insects and 80% veggies, which is a big flop. Um, so definitely keep that in mind if you're still scared of insects but you still want a bearded dragon, you're not going to have to give them that much insects forever. So, it's totally not a big deal. Um, but basically, they are going to need insects which include like mealworms, superworms, waxworms, crickets. And I mean, I like to give mine freeze dried grasshoppers um, as like a little snack. And um, those are kind of like the main insects she eats. She is so obsessed with superworms. Um, but she's at like six, seven months old, so she's at the point where she kind of eats like half and half, really. Like, she eats a couple protein, but then she'll go, she's starting to eat a lot more vegetables, which is really good. They do like cucumber, um, I mainly give her cucumber, it's kind of her favorite. Zucchini, squash, they do like, um, I gave her kale earlier. I like they like parsley, lettuce, just kind of the main um, vegetables. I think they eat carrots, but as like a little snack, you can give them fruit. You don't really want to include fruit too much in their diet because it is still sugar. And for any animal, sugar isn't the best. So keep that in mind. I give strawberries to her like once a while. She's going to go crazier than crickets, but you definitely do need a big container for crickets this is about 50 small crickets right now she's eating small crickets sometimes she'll have some big crickets um but this is kind of about what they need and what i just do is like i'll i'll lift up the little egg carton thing put it in her cage close it so they don't jump out and she chases them and kind of hunts for them and when you're giving them vegetables or even crickets or like protein you can always sprinkle calcium on there uh calcium and are you trying to eat my hair? Because something is pulling at my hair. Girl. Um, reptile vitamin. This is um, like vitamin D3. So this is... Girl, you're scratching my neck. It tickles. Yes, uh, that's pretty much um, what they do for eating. And pretty much just like the everyday life with them. Like they're kind of routine. Um... So, when I wake up in the morning, um, they really, the main reason I did get this kind of reptile is because they are very easy to take care of, like, extremely easy. The cost, um, they don't cost a lot, and they, they're very just easy to maintain. So, like, her routine will basically be, I wake up, um, I am doing online school right now, so it's a lot I'm pretty much with her all day, um, but basically she um, eats in the morning, like before school starts for me, which is around 7.30, she will eat her stuff and I'll give her a few like vegetables throughout the day, and then um, at around 7, 7, 8-ish, um, a few hours before I go to bed, she will eat her nighttime meal or like evening meal. And it'll be like the same thing in the morning. It's pretty much routine and you really have to focus on feeding them. Um, they are very social so they will like being handled and playing with you. I hold her pretty much during all my online classes. Well, not all of them. Like a little bit here and there because the maximum they should be out is like two hours a day because they do need their UVB and heat and that could cause stress if they're out for too long. Anyways... <laughs> Um, and for a lot, I get a lot of questions about their pooping and like if it's often. And if you have a guinea pig or hamster, I've had four. And basically, they leave droppings everywhere. Like literally their whole cage, you have to clean it nonstop. It's a mess. But for here, they're kind of like humans. Really depends. Oh my gosh, she just jumped from one leg to the other. Um, they're basically like humans in a way. Like they don't leave droppings everywhere. <laughs> obviously um she does they do poop like well at this age they do poop like seven times a week normally six times a week on average when they're older but at this age she's pooping like once on average a day 
if you don't want it to smell, you just pick it up and I flush it down the toilet. Um, but if you leave it, it will start to smell, so keep that in mind. They aren't very smelly unless you don't clean up the poop. And for their cage cleaning, like all the cage cleaning, um, you, um, the only thing that really can get dirty is where they poop. And mine actually only poops in one place. Like, ah, oh, she just went onto the floor! No! Come back! <laughs> She's running away from me. Okay, I know you want to explore, but like, now's not the time. Um, so basically, oh, she's, are you serious? You're crazy. Um, but mine only poops in one place. It might not be the same for all bearded dragons, so I really only have to really genuinely clean her basking spot, where is only where she poops. It's like she's trained to poop there. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but it's really easy for me to clean because I don't, I really just, oh, she's hugging my arm. That's so cute. And she's trying to lick my hair. Okay, don't go behind my back. Um, but basically, she will, like, kind of eat, um, uh, eat, poop only in her basking spot. So that's the main place I really clean. You just take it out. I wash it with soap and water and get all the soap off. And then, like, I'll, she gets a lot, um, I spilled a lot of oats on her reptile carpet. So there are oats there, but, like, they're just oats. So, it's like fine. <laughs> she doesn't even try to eat them anyway. Really only do that like once every now and then because it, unless it starts to smell or gets dirty. So that's um, the good thing about reptiles and pretty much mostly bearded dragons. They're super easy to maintain. Don't require a lot of care or cleaning or, um, you know, everything that comes with a guinea pig or beard <laughs> hamster. So... It, they're really simple and they're really cute and fun like my mom was so scared of lizards she's like if you get that thing you are never bringing it downstairs I'm probably not gonna come in your room ever again because I will be terrified of it I'm like I was like really hesitant but I'm like oh, she'll get used to it trust me um and she did she's actually held it oh my gosh wow she's actually held her pet her she is in love with her oh my gosh I am so, so sorry for the chaos. Yeah, you should be sorry because you're distracting me. Anyways, I think that's pretty much it for the video because it's really simple. They don't require too much care and as long as you kind of play with them or like handle them, at least she's tickling me. <laughs> Um, if you like handle them and make sure that they feel affection and you have a bond with them they're just so fun and easy and very curious and exploring <laughs> I can't do this I have to end this video she's going from arm to arm <laughs> through my back um, anyways thank you guys so 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 much for watching um, I'll see you guys in my next video ah! she is not on my chair right now <laughs> You want to say bye? Thank you for the chaotic video. Bye, guys. Love you.